in the midst of our doing. Bless us. We're so happy about this time and this day. We give you glory. Somebody needs you in a very special way. Lord, somebody needs to come before you uh, and honor you, uh, our God. Uh, thank you for all you've done. You brought us through another year. Thank you. Uh, you've given us uh, another opportunity. And Lord, uh, if you will, uh, give us the strength that we need. Uh, give us all uh, that we put in uh, your hands. Uh, give you the glory. Uh, we shout to the glory of God. Uh, have your way. Uh, have uh, your way. Lord, uh, have uh, your way. Uh, and we will uh, give you all uh, of the praise. Uh, everybody, I want you to get those hands uh, and bless him. Uh, come on, I want you to bless him uh, with your hands uh, and give him uh, glory. Come on, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. All my days I've been held in your hand. Oh, yes. From the moment that I wake up. Say it, say it. Until I lay my head. Oh, yes. I will sing of the goodness of God. That sounds good. <laughs>
come on, put those hands together. That's it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy to see everybody who's in the presence of the Lord. How many of you glad to be in the house? Praise God and bless his name. How many members? How many members? That's it. Woo. Oh, yeah. God bless. Anybody here, you're not a member of this church, but you are here. Just lift up your hand this day. I see somebody. There you go. There you go. Bless God. Wonderful. Wonderful. Come on, members. Let's greet everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. be seated if you can. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, all ye people. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, all ye people, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, all ye people, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord.
Yeah. Praise God, praise God. I never shall forget. God's been good to somebody. Amen. Oh, 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 oh never. I'm glad you're in the house of the Lord. But, but I see some of y'all have uh, last night, uh, last night, I'm finding that out. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm on. I, I won't call you a name. Uh, last night, what was going on last night? My, my, my. And I wish those who were out last night, I wish I could get there. from them. Mm -hmm. I need to go by everybody's house and, and get your communion. Amen. Lord, have mercy, have mercy. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's get a sermon. Let's get a sermon. Let's get a sermon. Amen. And praise the Lord. All right. You have your Bible. I'm sure that everybody has their Bible. Let's stand. Everybody have your Bible. I want to look at Second Chronicles 7. 14, 2 Chronicles 7, 14. This ought to be for every believer. Amen. This was today. How many, how many of you are good uh, persons that come to y'all come to Sunday school all right raise that hand up high all right good good all right praise the Lord I'm going to just go into what was given here in second chronicles. 7 and 14. Amen. All right. Do y'all have it? All right. I heard Deacon Callahan back there. God bless you, Deacon Callahan. You were the only one that said anything. Amen. Amen. All right, one, two, let's read. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray 
and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen, amen. Listen, there are some things that I kind of got away from, and uh, I'm going to start getting it in person. All right, repeat after me. This is my Bible, God's holy word, a lamp to my feet, and a light along my path. By faith, I receive it in my head. I hear it and believe it in my heart. I carry it in my hand. I will live it in my home. All right, now we're going to have to learn this <laughs> as we get back to some of the things that we have been doing. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the foundation of your word. And we thank you that your word speaks to us even now. We are those people which are called by our name. They are humble in this way. And we are praying and seeking your face and turn from our wicked ways. Then we believe that we will hear you from heaven and we'll forgive our sin and we'll heal the land. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some of us need to get back on track. Some of us need to come back to you and have your way in the midst of it all. God, we thank you and ask you to use us even now in the name of Jesus Christ. And the people of God said, Amen. Some of y'all ain't saying nothing. nothing. Amen. All right, sit down. Lord, help me, somebody help me. Many of you who are Bible students know this passage of Scripture. And so I encourage you to take what God has given us and God uh, embracing us in relationship to uh, him. I want to encourage you. Uh, I know that there are many of you who don't go to Sunday school. I know that, and I'm getting ready to ask who I'm talking to right now. And uh, don't, don't lie. Amen. 
Some of you have never been to Sunday school and not even in Sunday school during yourself in this passage. Amen. Some don't go to Sunday school in their own home. Let me back this up. I've asked those who uh, come to Sunday school and those individuals get better as they look in the scriptures to give them an opportunity to hear what God is saying. Amen. You get here for 8 o'clock. Thank you for that one. I'm going to preach it anyhow. Some of you don't ever make your way here for 8 o'clock right here in this church to hear what God is saying uh, into your life. If you don't come here at 8 o'clock, you ought to put yourself in a position where the word of God is speaking to you at home. My Lord, I need your help. These Negroes won't say nothing. God is speaking and God is hearing. If you don't come to church at 8 a.m., the least you can do is get a Sunday school book and at your house, Take your time and study what the word of God, when God is speaking to you. I'm going to get some more Sunday school books. I'm going to put them in your hand. I'm going to encourage you that when you are at home, you can take a great opportunity to hear what God is saying to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I'm speaking today for those who have already spoken to themselves with the word of God and grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a new year. I want to see if you're going to be a, a new person. Bless God. I want to see if there are some of you who will grow in grace and come to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ so that you can grow in his way. Now, if you're not coming at 8 o'clock, 
if you're not coming to having a Sunday school book and read what the Bible says, what do you plan to do? God's word uh, has power. Do I have a witness? God's word strengthens us. God's word uh, is opening our ears so that we can know what God would have us to believe. This, this ought to be a year for everybody in the presence of the living God and make for ourselves what God is saying in his word. Now, as we read this particular passage where God speaks and in what God says, I hear the word of the Lord saying, if my people is their person <laughs> in the house, here today, God says, if my people which are called by my name. Talk to me when I get to this point. Shall humble themselves and pray. Now there are so many that don't pray. <laughs> there are so many that don't talk to God. There are so many that need to hear God speaking to us by way of his word. How many of you can say, I am God's people? Come on and help me right here. You can go on and talk to me here. If my people, God says, if my people which are called by my name, God is speaking even on your behalf, shall humble themselves, shall humble ourselves and pray and seek my face and turn from my and your wicked ways. God says, then will I hear from heaven. I feel like I'm going to preach this thing right here. God wants us uh, to hear from heaven and forgive your sins. Lord, have mercy. Everybody in here uh, has some sin. I know you don't want to hear it. I said every one of us have come short of the glory of God. Every one of us can do better in our relationship with God. And God will forgive our sin and will heal the land. I'm encouraging every one of you, read it. Read it. It can make a difference in our lives. I hear some of you saying, 
I ain't got no sin. You're lying right there. Help me, Holy Ghost. I said, you're lying right there. We all have sin and come short of the glory of God. We have fallen down. We have done what we want to do and not what God says to do. God's word speaks to us in the process. Relationship involved uh, in the blessings uh, that God gives uh, to uh, us to be better for him. How do we honor and maintain good relationships with other people when God declares Solomon's temple uh, as home the honor uh, came with obligations and promises. This what God has given us to hear, there are promises and consequences. All who have taken the opportunity to hear from God are a little better now than we were when we started. Help me, Holy Ghost. And it is our responsibility. God wants us to be free in what we are hearing from him. Freedom can be wonderful. God has given every living soul the freedom to make their own choices and decisions. But there is no such thing as choice without consequences y'all ain't gonna help me so I preach it for myself in today's lesson the Lord laid down a few simple consequences Look at here when you get home uh, in the chronicle uh, writing, uh, you'll discover what Solomon did do and what Solomon did not do, and the people uh, of Israel. Uh, King Solomon had the freedom to rule his kingdom, but the only way the kingdom would continue was if Solomon obeyed God. I'm trying, I'm trying, Deacon. It's in the book. Do I have a witness here? I said it's in the book. Book. <laughs> the book I'm talking about, the Bible. You ought to read it for yourself. You need to know what God is saying and follow in the footsteps of Solomon's father. Some of you know who he is. Don't you? The Bible says David, the Lord gave Solomon what he needed to know 
to get stronger, to walk by faith, to Chronicles, the companion book to the first chronicle, comes uh, and looks at the history of the Hebrew people from the reign of King Solomon to the captivity of uh, Babylon. Y'all ain't read it, I know. You, you can't say nothing at all. I'm trying to give you what you need to study. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman, a workwoman that need is not to be ashamed. <laughs> Do I have a witness? Uh, I need some members uh, who know what the book says. I need some members uh, that have read uh, their Bible. <laughs> I need uh, somebody <laughs> that'll read uh, in the book. Do I have a witness here? Read in the morning. Do I have a witness here? I said read in the evening. I mean many of you don't read the word not even uh, when uh, you eat your food. <laughs> Shame uh, on you. Uh, his word uh, is a lamp to your feet. Uh, and uh, the word of God uh, is light uh, to walk. Is there anybody here that wants the word of God? Yeah, eight o'clock. Some of you go to work. Yes, Lord. Some of you make your way to your job yeah somebody wants to grow in grace I know you got your mask on but look at somebody and say to them I'm growing I'm growing in Get in the bed. 
You ought to get your book, read your Bible, know what the Lord said. Do I have a witness? Read it and grow in it. Do I have a witness? Thank you, Lord. Your word. I said your word. Thank you so much for viewing our worship service today. You can join us right here in the sanctuary each Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. Or view our services on any of our streaming networks, Facebook, YouTube, and our church website. You can also watch our services each Sunday morning at 11 o'clock a.m. on Chicago Cable Channel 25. Subscribe, share, Gather your family and friends and join our movement. If this ministry has impacted your life in any way, consider partnering with us financially so that this message can continue to be spread across the world. You can give via the Givelify app. Our church website, www.newcovenantnbc.com through mail, Post Office Box 198217, Chicago, Illinois, 60619 or by bringing your donation to the church office at 754 East 77th Street. Again, thank you. We love you and we're praying for you. See you next week. Be blessed.